so that we have to cover this. And then you're gonna use the spatula and you're gonna, not like this, we're gonna do it like this sideways and we're gonna spread all the paint around until we cover the whole canvas. And if you need help, I'll help you, but I want you to try it by yourself. So let me do one side so you can kind of see. So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna pour a big blob like this and go all the way around, okay? So take the cup and pour your blob all the way around. It comes out quick, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> perfect, keep going, yeah. Perfect, all the way up. Hello everyone, welcome back to a special video of me teaching 10 year old Emily how to do a blowout. Now you already saw a little part of the beginning. So there are parts I'm going to mute out and do a voiceover. And then there are parts where I'm just going to leave the talking in it. Cause then that way you guys kind of get to learn at the same time with tips and tricks that I'm kind of showing Emily. So as you can see here, I'm getting her to flood her canvas and, um, you know, how to use the spatula and all of that fun stuff. So again, I will talk where I can or just leave the original audio so you guys can kind of hear what I'm, you know, explaining and telling Emily so that you guys also get the tips and tricks of the blowout. Okay, so now you're gonna take the spatula and you're gonna like just skim and you wanna cover the whole canvas, but you don't wanna do it hard and do that. Right, so you can even stitch it on this side and then you wanna bring it all to the edge like this, even if it goes over the edge a little bit because we gotta cover the edge and you're gonna spread it all out like that, okay? Yep, nice and flat, very light. Yep, all right, like you're on. skimming. Good. Nice job. And if it's getting too thin, use the thick parts to yep. spread it out, there you go. Yep. Make sure I'll add a little more for you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Looking good. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit for you. Just my expertise uh -huh. here just to make sure we don't have any big globs in certain spots there we go you did actually pretty good considering that was your first time in your hands oh yeah you're gonna get dirty <laughs> <was> gonna <laughs> you're gonna get dirty okay all right so then comes a little bit of a so then, what we have here is a torch. <laughs> so you push the button and then a flame comes out like that, okay? And we're just going to pop the bubbles. You just see how fast I'm moving back and forth? And I'm not going this close because yeah. you don't want to burn the paint, right? You're gonna go about, about up here. I'll hold your hand, hold this. Don't be scared. You're left or you're left. She's a lefty. You're a lefty, all right, so ready? You can push the button, hold it down. There you go. And we're going to go keep, keep it down. Perfect. We're going to pop all the bubbles because you must pop all the bubbles. No bubbles. We don't want bubbles. It's going to ruin the painting. All right. You can let go. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Creme brulee. Yeah, exactly. All right. So now, um, you see here how the canvas is dry? So that's not good. So what I do is I take my finger and I dip it into the paint and then I get the canvas wet, okay? So you do that and I'll do this side. So you wanna dip your finger in the paint and you wanna make sure the whole canvas is covered. Now here's the other question. Do you want to cover the entire canvas like that so that you don't see any white? Or do you want to leave what we call as negative space? Cause that's the white, right? That's the base color. So do you see here, like even on the black one, there's lots of black showing and I only blew out part of it. 
So all of these paintings that you see on the wall have negative space because you can see the white mm -hmm. or the black base. But on that one, I covered the entire painting. So do you want to cover the whole thing? Okay. So <laughs> I'm covering the whole thing, then it doesn't really matter what our lines are going to look like because we're going to cover the whole thing. Here, I'll do the first one so that, and then you just have to copy on top. Oh, that's good. And then that way. I see a doggy here. Uh oh. See, look. You. <laughs> the dogs follow me everywhere. <laughs> I tell you. All right. So you're going to give it a good squeeze. And we're going to do a line going across like that. And then let's do a line down here. We'll do a line out this way since we want to cover the whole canvas. And then we're going to do a line up here and a line like that. Okay. That should be enough to cover almost all the canvas. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you are going to follow my line and you're going to put the blue on top of the purple. Don't squig like don't go pew 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 and do squiggly lines. Just go completely right on top of what I just did. And you probably don't have to squeeze too hard, right? Yeah, well let's see. So squeeze her out and let's see what you get. Squeeze hard. Keep going, keep going. There you go, and then keep going. Yep. Look quicker. Follow the lines. Doesn't yep. matter which way you go. There no. you go. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, all the way. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now keep following the rest. All right, so now we are going to pop the bubbles again. We don't have to do the white part, but everywhere we put colored paint, we have to pop those bubbles, okay? So push the button, all right? Pop all the bubbles in the colored paint. Now goes the fun part. <laughs> All right, so when I we're gonna turn the hair dryer on when we're ready, and we're gonna hold it like this upside down, okay? And when we're blowing the paint, we don't want to blow it like this. We want the hair dryer to be down like this because we want to blow the paint around, okay? So we're gonna start in the middle, and we're gonna go whoop, whoop, like this side to side to side to side. And we're gonna try and cover as much as we can uh, on this massive canvas. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to the middle. So I'll hold your hand and then we'll do like half of it together. And then I'll, I'll let you do the rest on your own. So that way you kind of get an idea, okay? But I know you're left-handed, but we're <laughs> gonna use left hand and our right hand. Because when you're trying to do like, let's say up here, instead of holding it like this and going rant, rant like this, it's easier if you just switch hands and go like that, uh, yeah. right? All right, so we're gonna put it on low. You're going to come over here. You're gonna hold the hair dryer like this, okay? And then just put this here. And then try and hold it like, hold on, try and hold it with your fingertips like this, not like this. Try and hold it like that, okay? Yeah, perfect. So we're gonna come, actually, you know what? Let's do this hand. Because we're coming this way, yeah. right? So that way you can see what you're doing. Whoa! <laughs> that. And then you see this big puddle? That's where we're going to blow the next blob. We're going to go all the way so it goes all the way off the edge. Perfect. And we're going to blow this. Okay. Now we can use this hand and we're going to blow this blob off. Okay? Because you want to cover as much of the canvas as you can, right? All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but we're going to do our best. Because it's a pretty big canvas. Okay? And then we're going to come here and we're going to follow this line all way down. Okay? Right. 
So I hope you're enjoying the tutorial slash lesson so far. Um, at this point, I did decide to speed it up a little bit. Um, Emily did ask me to uh, hold her hand and help her more with the blowout as she felt more comfortable with it. So that is what we are doing here and trying to cover as much of the painting as we can. More, And then we'll blow it off, all right? So we'll just add a few colors. What's your favorite color out of these? These ones here, what's your favorite? Or what do you want to see a bit more of? Yeah, purple? what do you want to see more here? The purple, the blue? The blue. The blues? All right, so let's add just like a strip of blue like this. And then, which one? Dark or light? Dark. Dark. Okay, add a little bit of that. We'll add a smidge of gold, just a little bit, a little bit. And then do you want to add light purple on top or leave it like that? A little bit of light. A little bit of light. Okay. Okay. All right. So now let's try and roll that out and make a design. Let me just pop those bubbles. Okay. All right. So here you go. There you go, we managed to cover it. Would you want to cover this? No. You're good. You like it? She likes it. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, they look, look actually closer. similar, eh? They are similar, I know. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah. Is there any more, because you can still blow, is there anything else that you want to blow out or do you like it the way it is? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, I like it too. So up in the corner there, you don't want to blow that because that's still white. Yeah, so because you've pretty much got everything covered here. And then you have this little bit of white here. Do you want to blow this? Should we blow a little purple into there? Yes. Yeah. Just, just so it's just, just symmetrical. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There, see? That's actually oh. better. Okay, so now the last step is, you see this? See, that's dry canvas, right? So we don't like that. So what we want to do is dip our finger in the paint and then just dab our finger to get the canvas wet, okay? So go around that side and see if there's anything over there that needs dabbing and just dab the side. Might not need it everywhere, maybe just a few teeny tiny spots. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. We'll have to put your name on the back too. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Well, we don't want to put your name on the front. Yeah, you got to sign the back. Yeah. You gotta sign your we'll name sign on the like back. Age 10. Right? Yep. Oh, love it. There you go. Did you have a good, like, wasn't it fun? <laughs> this is what I do. Not every day, but yeah, this is my job. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of me teaching Emily how to do a blowout for her 10th birthday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments. Um, you know, feel free to talk to Emily in the comments. I'm sure she's going to be reading the comments on this video. Um, Emily, I had a great time with you. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for choosing me to do a painting with you. I hope you had a great time doing it and I hope it is hanging nicely in your room. Um, so that is it for me for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you all know what to do. Put it in the comment section below. Um, and that is it. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.